Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here, and today I am filming part one of a new Ryzen home server build. So uh, I'm going to re be replacing my dual Xeon um, 2011 socket um, with a new modern uh, Ryzen build. I picked these parts up on uh, eBay, about $100 for the X570 motherboard um, from ASRock. This is the Phantom Gaming 4. Um, so about, it was, I think it was 90 bucks for that, but I'm trying to get an IO Shield, which will probably be another uh, five, ten bucks from um, ASRock, and then pick this up from uh, Amazon. It's uh, it's just a temporary chip. I'll probably upgrade to a Ryzen uh, 4000 series uh, Zen 3 once they become available. Um, but this was an Amazon warehouse deal for a hundred bucks, so uh, hard to uh, to beat that uh, for the price. And it should be about the same uh, processing power as my old Xeon setups, uh, just not as many cores. So I think I eventually want to get a a higher core count, but this should use a lot less power. I mean, those were 295 watt uh, TDP heat output chips, and this is, you know, 65 watts. So a lot less heat and a lot less power. I'm more concerned about the heat output. Um, I will be losing some of the um, enterprise features like the IPMI console and like the extra LAN ports, but I do have a four port uh, Intel card to throw in here. I also picked up, uh, this is a use a data XPG, um, 256 um, gigabyte uh, NVMe boot drive, so that'll be nice. Uh, kind of a mid-range uh, NVMe, but it'll be nice for just uh, storing Proxmox on there and um, getting everything set up. And then I just picked up a cheap graphics card because uh, I don't really need graphics, but um, unfortunately Ryzen uh, chips, the a lot of them don't have the integrated graphics, so I will need this. This is just a an R5 or R4 240 or maybe R5 240. Um, it was like 12 bucks on eBay. Just it was low profile. Uh, should fit the bill. And then um, picked up two sticks of the the uh, this Olay uh, RAM. It's um, 2400 megahertz. Pretty slow, but I'm going more for uh, capacity over speed. And in fact, I picked up two more of these. Um, they're about 40 bucks a, a piece at the time. Uh, I bought them on uh, Amazon, so in total I have uh, th or 64 gigabytes, which should be plenty for running VMs. And again, it's, that doesn't matter that I'm the fastest. You know, I know Ryzen likes a little faster memory, but for kind of a low power, well, low as possible power build, and um, not really a gaming machine. I don't really need the fastest performance. But uh, anyway, it's gonna. Um, you know, get this set up and install Proxmox and then I'll have to move my VMs over, but I'll definitely do an update uh, part two as I put it in my uh, Supermicro server case and I'm going to have to migrate my ZFS uh, um, disk array over to this. That should be interesting. Hopefully there's not too many hiccups there, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Thanks and make sure uh, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for part two and uh, check out my other videos on this channel. Thanks, bye.